this is the main reason why many Christians are still poor. Yes, you heard me right. This is the main reason why many Christians are still very, very poor. Have you ever heard this saying that God helps those who help themselves? If you have not heard it, then I am bringing it to you for the very first time. God helps those who help themselves. You know why? Because God is a businessman. If you are a Christian and you read your Bible very well, you will get to understand that even God says, I will bless the work of your hands and make you productive. So it means that there must be something you are doing with your hands before God will bless you. So if you are not doing anything with your hands, you make it very difficult for God to bless you. If you don't have anything doing, then it becomes difficult for God to bless you. There is no spirit that can prosper a man who is doing nothing. That particular spirit does not exist. So many Christians are still very poor because they think that, okay, I am a Christian. So once I go to pray to God, then that ends it. I am going to make money. Maybe I need some money to do something. Instead of me to go and work and get the money, then what I have to do is that I have to go and pray to God for the money. So I'll go to church, pray to God about my problem, ask him for the amount of money that I need. Then I go back home and go and sleep. The money will just come because I am a Christian and then I have prayed to God about it and God will have to do it for me. Ah, are you for real? See, there are many Christians who still believe that money is the root of all evil. So they don't want to do anything to make money. And that has kept them very poor. I am a Christian myself. There are no doubts in that. But the truth of the matter is that most Christians are still very, very poor because they believe in all these things. So what they do is that they just go to church. They pray to God about their problems. They ask God for the amount of money that they need. Then they go back home and sleep. They don't want to sell anything. They don't want to produce anything. They don't want to take any kind of an action. But they just want the result to come to them just like that. That is never going to happen. It is never going to be possible for you. So you must change this particular mindset of yours as a Christian if only you definitely want to succeed. God is a businessman. That is why he is going to bless those who are doing something with their hands. So if you don't have anything to do with your hands, then it means that you are out of the business of God and there is no way he will bless you. It is good to go and pray and it is also good to ask God for something. But after you have prayed and asked God for what you are looking for, for that particular amount of money you are looking for, then you have to go out there and put your faith in action. How do you do that? You go and look for something to do. So once you begin to do something, God will then pass through that particular thing you are doing to answer your prayer. Nothing will just come to you easily like that. So you have to work out for it. So after you have prayed, after you have asked God for it, go out there and put your faith into action. Isn't it not the same Bible that says that faith without actions is dead? Yes. So you don't just go to God and pray and ask God for what you need, then you go back home and go and sleep. Let me just show you some three videos. Please watch them out and get to understand this particular thing that I am saying. You can never go far in this kingdom if you don't have something you are doing with your hands. That idea of telling you just give and you will prosper is a scam. Everybody prospering in this kingdom is doing something. When you have nothing to do, you make it difficult for God to bless you. It becomes easy for God to bless you when you have something to do. There is no spirit that can prosper a man who is doing nothing. Disconnect money from value. We don't want to produce anything. We don't want to sell anything. And gratefully, because we're Christians, we know how to pray. And God says, ask and you shall receive. Then we ask for $100,000. We don't want to sell anything. And then they tell you just sow a seed. It's just not practical. I'm not invalidating the giving principle. It's powerful, it's eternal. But to promise someone who has no skill, who has no products, no services, that you become a millionaire just because I laid my hand on his head, people are gonna get frustrated and angry somewhere along the line. Dangote is selling salt. He's selling sugar. Am I right? Now he's building a refinery. So you that want to be sleeping in the church too. Sleeping in the church every night, Monday night. Uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, you are doing in the church through the night, during the day you are useless, you are not selling anything, 
You prophesy on your head from today to tomorrow. Call ball, you won't have. In the realm of the spirit, you'll be a billionaire. Boy. You see, you have watched the videos, right? Did you see what I am saying? So see, as Christians, let us put our faith into action. If not, we are going to always be at a particular state of life without moving forward. We just expect that a miracle should happen just like that. No, the miracle will happen when you put yourself into the action for the miracle to happen. No miracle will just hit you like that. No, things don't work that way. So when you want result, when you want a change result for your situation, then you have to work out for it. The fact that you are a Christian doesn't stop you from doing the work that others are doing. So say, okay, you are a Christian. Every time you are always in the church, every time you are in the prayer room and you are not doing anything, people that don't even believe in any kind of a God will succeed and you will continue to be there. So please, I am a Christian myself. This particular video goes to all of us as Christians. If we want to succeed, then let's begin to sell something. Let's begin to produce something. Let's begin to do something with our hands. And always remember that God is a businessman and there is no way a businessman will give out something to you for free without doing business with a person. God is a businessman because he said he is going to bless the work of our hands. So it means that before the heavenly blessings will come to us on earth, there must be something we should be doing with our hands before we get those particular blessings. Yes, let us take this into consideration and take ourselves out of poverty as Christians. Thank you so much and God bless you. Please, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share it to bless other people. And please, don't also forget to drop a comment concerning this particular situation on ground. Thank you and God continue to bless you.